right, um, now we're expanding logs using as many properties as we can. Number 21, we have a lot going on here. We have these being multiplied, we have exponents, and we have division. So let's first look at the parts that are being multiplied together. So multiplication, when we expand it into multiple logs, changes to addition. So we have log of x to the fourth plus log y cubed. If we're dividing, that changes to subtraction of logs when we're expanding it out. So we need to subtract log w and subtract log z squared. To completely expand this, we also need to use the power property, which allows us to take any exponent and move it to the coefficient spot. So we have three exponents here. If we move all of those to the coefficient spot, that gives us 4 log x plus 3 log y minus log w minus 2 log z. Um, also, let's look at 23 because 23 actually has various answers. If we tried to expand log 72, there's a lot of ways you can break 72 down. For example, we know that 72 is equal to 8 times 9. If we expanded this out, that would give us log 9 multiplication when we expand turns into addition, so log 9 plus log 8. Answers will vary on this. We also know that 9 is equal to 3 squared, so another possible answer could be writing it as log 3 squared plus log 8 is equal to 2 cubed. So if we used as many properties as we could, we could do that and then change it to using the power property, moving the exponents down. This could be equal to 2 times log 3 plus 3 times log 2. This is equivalent to this, which is equivalent to this. And there's various other ways you could write it.